just saying. Why do people say grapefruit and tuna fish, but not egg chicken or beef mammal? Uh -huh. Come on, Mr. Dad. When we say come pick us up after school, we didn't mean after graduation. <gasps> Get in the horse! What? No time to explain! <laughs> <Yeah>! <laughs> Let me guess, you saw it, had to have it, and tried to let the kids take the fall for it. Hmm. What is he called? Wunderklop. <laughs> <sighs> it's okay. I've lined up a buyer to take him off our hands. Wait, how can you already have a buyer for a horse Dad just brought home? Oh, sweetie, do you really think I didn't expect your father to buy a horse at some point in our marriage? The problem is the guy can't buy it before the first of next month. So short of having Wunderklop for breakfast... <laughs> I'm open to suggestions on how we're going to survive until then. Hmm. I guess we're going to have to tap into the money you save for me to go to college. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't know what's the funniest. The fact you think you got a trust fund or the fact you think you'll make it to college. Well, you guys come up with a solution then. I said I would never go back to that life, that it was all behind me. Sadly, the time has come for me to call Don Luciano. <laughs> Luciano Pizza! Richard, no! One of their pizzas might have enough calories to keep us alive for two weeks, but they've already taken too many years off your life. Ricardo, is that you? No! Come back to us, Ricardo. We are your real family. No! I take 10% off, just for you. I'm sorry, Don Luciano! You know the sad thing about betrayal? It never comes from an enemy. <laughs> <laughs> We invite people who need hugs and kisses to come to our house, and we give it to them for money. Oh, I know. We all forget I just said that. Guys, don't panic. I spent the last of this month's food money on a metal detector and some lottery tickets. Worst case scenario, we can eat those. I've got an idea. We rent the house as a bed and breakfast. And I used to, we can't afford our own breakfast, let alone pay for other people. Fine. Then we rent the house as a bed and continue to fast. Hmm. Hmm. Please, come in. I'm Ethel, and this is Bernie. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Bernie and I are making a travel map of our holiday. It's been our lifelong dream, see? I think you're the first tourists in Elmore since those two guys back in 83. The town was so happy they put up a statue of them in the park with their motto underneath. Tell us the quickest way out of this dump. <laughs> <laughs> Still, beats our town. It's so small we don't need phones. We just speak louder. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, the house looks a bit different than the photo on the ad. Oh, uh, they're just close-ups, that's all. That one was taken right here in the living room. <laughs> Look. Right. Yeah, it also said you had cable. Does it have subtitles? Because our hearing is... Yes. Let me talk you through how it works. In here, you receive cable TV from right across the street. Until around 7 p.m. when they shut the blinds. <laughs> <laughs> and how do we work the AC? We get terrible migraines in the heat, so... Oh, you can operate it like so. Ah, refreshing. Sure. And now we also get awful rheumatic fever. And I think you had a hot tub somewhere? <laughs> sure! If you just follow me, I give you the hot tub. Okay, I guess it's time for us to go. Wait, is the house soundproofed? We suffer from a rare ailment which... Payment? Yes, we'll take cash. Bye! A rare ailment, which means... Bye! We freeze and faint. Bye! If anything loud or surprising happens... <laughs> Enjoy your stay! I'm heading to the store. Do we need anything? Uh, we need the inside of an orange, the inside of a stick of butter, the inside of a carton of milk, and the inside of a microwave oven. Why won't it wash off? 